Well done, lads. You did well with the Summers case. But we have a problem. The examiner received a new letter today. Do you mind if I take a look, Ray? Go right ahead. They've both been rinsed in gasoline, like the previous letters, so I can't lift a print. Well, that was the shortest opener we've ever seen, guys and girls, as we progress our way through deeper into the homicide case. Let's check out the letter. BD, find me where I hid myself. The killer knew about this message. Okay. What about this letter up here? Check it out, Cole. Another snippet from the Shelley poem. Looking in wonder up to heaven while yet the music peeled along, I hid myself within a fountain in the public square, where I lay like the reflex of the moon seen in a wave under green leaves. That is nonsensical. What the heck? I don't get it. He's just crazy and tricking, playing with our, toying with our minds. What we got here? The poetic works of Percy Shelley. To suffer woes which hope thinks infinite. Forgive wrongs darker than death or night. To defy power which seems omnipotent, to love and bear, to hope till hope creates, from its own wreck the thing it contemplates, neither to change nor falter nor repent, this like the glory titan is to be, good, great, and joyous, beautiful, and free, this is alone life, joy, empire, and victory. Whatever that means, I'm not 100% sure. If the note is from the Dahlia Maniac, he definitely also killed Teresa Terrellson. Mal and I agree. But where does that leave us? If this is the Dahlia killer, and he is responsible for the Tarles and murder, not to mention the Moloch... Hang on a moment, Skipper. Let me finish, Rusty. We have five birds in hand and none in the bush. The department will not survive a scandal if we have to let them all go without catching a fiend first. Your careers will be over for a start, gentlemen. Looking in wonder... Ah, oh, fuck it. Well, yet I knew this run was too good to be on. true. I hid myself within a fountain in the public square. You like that stuff? What is it supposed to it's mean? It's supposed to... Forget what it's supposed to... What does he want? It's... Where are you going with this, Cole? He's obviously taunting us. He believes he's far more intelligent than we are. Okay. It's some kind of story, right? A guy that God hates chains him up. It's an allegory, Rusty. A what? story with two meanings. A symbolic meaning. But that's what he wants us to think. Could he be using it literally? Within a fountain in a public square? Could it be that easy? Can way? somebody tell me what the fuck is going on? The fountain in Pershing Square. Come on, we have a clue. Captain, thanks, Ray. Be careful, Phelps. This is his game you're playing now. Hey. About to go find him lying in the fountain? What the heck? <laughs> That'd be crazy. I'd laugh so hard. Hopefully not, but we have a clue, so we gotta go check it out, right? That's what detectives do. Let's go, Russ. Let's go, Finbar. I swear, this town is going straight to Whoa. Don't be so pessimistic, buddy. Glass half full, not half there, empty. Whoa. Cole, we don't need to interview anybody right now. No not no no interrogations. Just yet. Let's hop in the car and go to the Parshing Square. We've been there many times before. We know right where it's at. Let's go. Come on, Russ. Lead the way. Actually, I'll lead the way. I'm driving. Grumpy old man. All those cases, Rusty. What have I been telling you all along? We gotta get this guy. I know. Enough women have died. Yeah, and it's our asses on the line too, Phelps. You heard what the captain said. That was a if we survive driving. this, it's gonna be a miracle. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Finn. That was my mistake. This is... A... We've been in homicide yeah, for a long time. Yeah, it's our asses on the line too, Phelps. You heard what the captain said. The department is not going to take responsibility for all those bad convictions. Success is a double-edged sword. Let's just get this sick pervert and have it done with. Good deal. I'm all about that. I'm all for that. It sounds like a plan. Plan to me. Put him in prison, move on to different desk. I'm guessing we're getting close to the end of homicide here because uh, the way everything's kind of coming together, it seems like it's kind of coming to a wrap-up. Makes me kind of sad because I kind of am growing to like Rusty and I kind of am growing to like Homicide. I like solving these murder mysteries. Pretty, pretty awesome. The game is pretty freaking awesome. Alright, Cole. What are we going to find in the fountain? Magical note? Pershing Square. 2.50 p.m. Hmm. Do some investigating. 
Rather you than me, Phelps. Uh-oh, he's climbing up. Two more notes. Uh-oh, what's the card? You know the local hobo used that as a train. Elizabeth Short. Elizabeth Short. Betty Short. Black Dahlia. Hmm. What's the letter say? There is a cave, all overgrown with trailing odorous plants which curtain out the dead. With leaves and flowers and paved with veined emerald and fountain, leaps in the mist with an awakening sound. From its curved roof, the mountain's frozen tears like snow or silver or long diamond spires hang downward, raining forth a double light. We're going on a goose chase here. Elizabeth Short's social security card. Jesus Christ. That's not all. There's another stanza from Shelley. Can you work it out? Decipher the second X. Got a city map. See if you can work out where he's taking us. I don't like this freak leading us around by the nose. This is pretty awesome. The poem refers. The poem refers to landmarks in the city. That's freaking sweet. Let's let's check it again. Okay, there's a cave all overgrown with trailing odorous plants, which curtain out the day with leaves and flowers, and paved with a veined emerald and a fountain. Carved roof of the mountain's frozen tears. A cave with plants. All right, let's look at the map here. What do we got? Landmark-wise, we've got a public library. I don't think that's a cave. We've got, what is this? Street crime location. <laughs> we've got Christ's crown of... Thorns. Tree collapsed the roof in the storm. That could be it. Oh, that's hidden vehicle. Art museum, no. Tar pits. No. Hidden vehicle. We got here. Hidden vehicle. 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 I was hoping to go somewhere up in Hollywood. I don't think we've even been up in that corner of the, the map yet. Alright, well, we don't have many... Uh, there's no not many... Landmarks. It's got to be that church with the the fallen in, the fallen in cave. That's my guess. That's where we're headed, guys. Christ, crown of thorns. Let's go. Cross your fingers. If we're wrong. We're wrong. Uh, this is awesome. It's like we get to totally investigate for ourselves here. There's no one telling us what to do or where to go. We're like rogue detectives on the loose. The the Finbar, where are we at? Let's go. I'm driving the Hudson Super Six. Go to that church and see what's up. A tree fell on, on the roof. Him. It's really him, the fuck who killed the Dahlia. Do you believe this? He's leading us. It's his game, Rusty. He may want someone to catch him, but he's extremely dangerous. I doubt if he will give up easily. Suits me down to the fucking ground. We clip this fuck and we get citations. <laughs> what a day to be a cop. Depends on pushing. What a day to be a cop. Hopefully we have the blessing of the Cola King to go investigate what's going on here. Uh-oh. Now we can quickly get away. There's Cola King and Salty. What's going on, guys? How you all been? Garbage truck. Crazy drive. Ah, dude! Don't hurt us. We got a place to go. We're detected on the loose. We got a tiny horn. No siren here. Cola King. There you are. What's up, buddy? I like how some of you are like, you're subliminally putting the Cola King into our minds. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, there's more Cola King though. Ow. Whoa! That's gonna kill us! Sorry, we took the hood off that car. We must have a front bumper made of diamond. Goodness gracious. Not a good day for driving for Cole and Russ. Alright, let's go check out the church. Here in the park. Christ, crown of thorns. I'm guessing this is the place. Whoa. Let's get out. Let's go. Do some investigating. Come on now. Here we go. We have the gold doors of, of love. We do. We do not, apparently. Okay, maybe it's around the side. I don't know. So right here, guys, is where I started going on kind of a wild chase for nothing. Um, and thought I was at the right location, and wasn't at the right location, and, and then was looking at my map for like five minutes, and I thought that would be pretty boring to see. So I've cut that out, and soon we'll get a, a notification 
that says, hey, how about you go check out the Hall of Records, which is where we're headed, and when we get there, we will resume right back in with your regularly scheduled commentary. And that's going to happen in 3, 2, 1, and boom. Hall of Records, 3.30 p.m. Here we are. This was not on our map. So I don't know how you're supposed to get there. New location, we just found it. Yeah, that would have been nice to see before. Let's go inside and see what's up. Kind of unfair, I guess. Can I help you, sir? Yes, you can. Detectives, LAPD. This is very important, sir. How do we get to the top of the chandelier? You what? Have a little faith, pal. We're in a real hurry. Head up to the top floor. There's an access panel and a ladder in the maintenance room. All right, we've got some, some work to do. What is this? Ooh, a hidden shield. Good deal. I don't know what that does, but we got to go up. You saw that note on the top of the chandelier. Apparently, we're going to climb on top of it, Cole. You're quite daring, daring climbing, man. Here at the House of Records. This is a pretty building. Rusty's already up here. Uh-oh. We oh, don't need to do that. Okay. Rusty, let's go. I think we got to go out here. No. I thought that was an exit. It was this way. Records room. Where? How do we get any higher? Where are we gonna like pop out? Oh, right over there, I guess. Along the wall. Oh, Rusty went out already. Good deal, Russ. I didn't see that door over there. Follow you, buddy. Maybe the Cola King's hiding up here. Time to do some climbing. Is Rusty really gonna come with us, or is he gonna stay on the ground? Yeah, Rusty. Be a lame-o and stand on that ground. Tightrope walking. Going oh, no. Cole, you're brave. Oh. Woo! That was very dangerous. <laughs> slowly, surely, slowly, but... Oh, my goodness gracious. Don't fall, Cole. Probably should have taken off your suit, but oh, well. Okay, good deal. Good job. Let's read it. A watch. What's the watch for? Deirdre Muller's missing watch. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. From the temple's high of man's ear and eye, roofed over sculptures and posy. From the mur... From the murmurings of the unsealed springs, where science bedews his daedal wings. Oh, goodness. Cole, what are you going to do? Oh, we got to swing the chandelier. Holy my. Let's go. Where are we going with this? Very big. Go. It's like not swinging in the direction I want it to. Where are we trying to swing this? Swing that goddamn thing and jump for it. Cole, what are you doing? Which one? Am I supposed to swing a certain way? Okay, let's go. Swing it. I don't understand. It's like not... It's like not swinging. I'm... I'm I, like, don't understand here. Okay, now pull it this way. Now pull it this way. Maybe we just have... Okay, you died. I'm sorry. Officer down. That was the stupidest minigame I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> like, what the heck? I'm, I don't even... It doesn't tell me which direction it wants me to go. I'm guessing I want to go over towards that that ledge, and yet it, it's not, like, letting me do anything of the sort. Okay. Apparently, pulling back swings it that way? That makes no sense. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we have to go against it. Like swinging, lean back and forth. Go. 
Okay, okay, okay. And jump! Good save, Cole. Good work. Good job, black screen. Yeah, well, the higher you climb, the further you fall. Let's get out of here. Another Dahlia clue? No. A yellow gold wristwatch. A molar dame. Yes. And a scrap of the poem. Another location. If I can work it out. All right. Third excerpt deciphering time. No, 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 no. Clues, 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 blues, clues. Third excerpt says, From the temples high of man's ear and eye, roofed over sculpture and posy, from the murmurings of the unsealed springs were science. There's nothing with science. What do we have on our map? It's science. We've got Pueblo de Los Angeles. We've got Union Station. We've got the Hall of Records. What's the Bradbury Building? I don't need the science. Pershing Square, no. Cold Storage. Produce Fresh. Archaeo Theater doesn't really have to do with science. We've got Intolerance. Christ, Throne of Thorns, Art Museum. It's kind of the opposite of science, isn't it? Tar Pits, Hidden Vehicle, Hidden Vehicle, Pueblo de Los Angeles, Union Station. What's the Pueblo? It was founded. That's not really science. What is this one? Hmm, where do we got to go? RKO Theater. This is pretty public library. What about this? Temple-like, mosaic pyramid, sculptured, torch-bearing hands. Or is it scientific light of learning? I'm going with that because it says scientific. And doesn't it talk about man's eye or something? Some, like, lights. Let's see. Ear and eye. From the murmurings of the unsealed springs. Okay, to the library we go. What car do you want to drive? This purple one? Good deal. Good, good pick. Pink and purple. The Packer Clipper 6. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. And as we drive to the library, guys. He keeps mementos from all his victims. This guy needs to be taken out of circulation. He takes pleasure at stringing us along, demonstrating how much smarter he is. He can enjoy it while it lasts. Got you now, genius. Coming for you. We're coming for you. We're coming for you. Next episode, we're coming for you, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic Cola King rific day. Hit that like button if you'd be so kind. We'll get you the next episode real soon. Bring you the mystery of the Dahlia Killer, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, have a fantastic day. And until next time, we will see you later.